Welcome back everybody. We're out here at the uh, Northwest River uh, in Tidewater, right off of Battlefield Boulevard on the border of North Carolina and Virginia. Uh, it's called Blackwater, uh, put in at Bob's Fishing Hole. And today I wanna find out uh, how well hot dogs work for bait. Uh, it's cold as hell <laughs> right after uh, the holidays. Washington uh, just lost, but uh, we look like we're gonna have a good season next year. So I need to get out and, and get back to doing what I like to do, which is fishing. Um, I brought my noodles, got a couple extra rods and reels, so I'm gonna try for just about anything. Um, you know, there's catfish out here, there's stripers, um, a lot of crappie. It's three feet around the edges, usually gets down about four or five feet in the middle. Uh, so who knows, uh, but I'm gonna do some drifting. I'm gonna do some noodling, uh, really do just about everything, see what'll bite a hot dog. Uh, I've also brought some uh, earthworms and maybe a little bit of uh, fish heads uh, for some of the bigger cats. But uh, let's get on. Thanks for watching. So one of the tips to noodling is you wanna have your line tight. So you want it to lay flat, but you don't want a lot of play in it. If you have a lot of play in it, you don't get to set the hook as well. Um, you know, you, when the fish grabs it, even though it's got a circle hook on it, you want a little tension there so it pulls back. If it's totally slack, there's not as much pullback on that. Uh, plus, you want to be, you know, a lot of times, if the fish is just sitting there with no resistance to it, he's not moving, he's not pulling. It just A lot of times you see your noodle sitting there flat, and you don't think you have a fish on it. Part of the fun of noodling, especially in a kayak, is seeing that bob or go up and down, that noodle go up and down, and you having to chase it down. So you want to make sure that you can just kind of hunt and peck, find the right distance, the depth of water. You can cut your line to that, or you can just, okay, here's here's where it's nice and tight. But in, a, on, in addition, if it's really loose, it can wrap around structure, stuff like that, and you can lose your line, lose your sinker, and if you're using lead, uh, that can get expensive. Uh, a lot of times people use bricks, stuff like that, but on a kayak, I don't have a lot of space, so I'm using lead. Don't like losing it. You know, sometimes it's a couple bucks, depending on, you know, what I'm fishing for. So remember, when you're, when you're using noodles, make sure your line is tight, straight up and down. Doesn't matter really where you put the hook. I mean, I usually find that catfish bite a little bit lower, and other species like uh, gar will fish, uh, catch a little bit higher. Uh, but really, I've caught them on all different depths. So just make sure that you have a nice tight line uh, and of course that the um, noodle's laying flat. All right, so what I'm using today as far as hooks, you can see uh, these are my octopus circle hooks, Gamagatsus. These are number five. I use a mixture of them, you know, two, three, four, five, six, uh, depending on what size catfish I think I'm going after or just regular fish, tell you the truth. I use circle hooks for just about everything, especially when I'm using uh, pool noodles or I'm jugging, circle hooks are the way to go. Uh, but the Gamagatsus are not cheap. Uh, they've got a high carbon content, a uh, very sharp tip, awesome hook, name brand, so obviously it's gonna cost you a little bit more. These other ones I have, uh, I use when I, I plan on losing a lot of lures or uh, jugs that there's a lot of structure that I'm that I'm fishing these are not as strong they have a lower carbon content um, but the nice thing about them is I can get a, a billion of them for you know 15 bucks um, as you can see I got a little bit of uh, water in there and some of them started to rust up uh, so you got to keep them dry but when I'm going for volume or if I plan on losing a lot uh, or don't want to lose a, a, a rig I use the cheaper uh, circle hooks again there's all kinds of cheap ones you can find on Amazon I've got a link to both of them in the description box below uh, but again if you're just out there jugging and you think you're gonna lose a lot of stuff go cheap but if I'm going out need to bring fish home to mom or uh, competition you know uh, some type of fishing tournament I'm always using my gamagatsus uh, kind of personal preference but uh, from what I understand there's a lot of more carbon in the gamagatsus which makes them stronger sharper hold an edge better um, sometimes the carbon can if there's too much you know lends itself to rusting but i have never had a problem with my gamagatsus um, but that's what i'm using out here today and 
I usually use those when I'm jugging. Catfish, you have any luck? I got my one for the day. <laughs> I'm still waiting on mine. Yeah, four trips in a row, I get one fish, that's it. I had, uh, I did a little striper fishing early this morning. How far are you going down? Yeah. It's nice being out though. Huh? It's nice being out though. Nice thing about jugging is you got uh, a lot of time waiting for something to bite, and you can still do regular fishing, so you're increasing your odds. Now today, um, you can try them with those hot dogs in a new location. So far, nothing, nothing's biting. So we're gonna keep efforting at some point. We're going to get some. I think. This will be interesting. When I win a millionaire, when I win the lottery, I'm going to get one of those. In the meantime, I always turn into those waves. So I've been uh, moving all over the place with my noodles and different types of baits. I've been wondering why I haven't caught a thing all day. And it uh, looks like... If you can see that stripe, it is incoming tide. This is tidal area, and last time I was here last week, it was outgoing. It was high tide. Uh, it is now pretty much low tide with the tide coming in. That's been the difference. Set different bait. You know, I'm using hot dogs. I'm using cut bait. And I'm using worms. Uh, but even on the worms, I was catching a lot of shell crackers uh, last week. So it looks like the tide has made the difference. Basically, the same weather. Uh, cold uh, with some sun uh, but it looks like the tide is what's been the difference not giving up yet but uh, it's been a long day <laughs> I'm a little worried about getting skunk so I switched spots to over here at the uh, bridge it's usually about uh, 15 to 20 foot of water depending on where you're at so I'm using a heavier hook and I'm using earthworms just letting it sink to the bottom. Uh, a lot of times there's shell crackers here. There's uh, crappy. Again, I don't like being skunk, so I'm, I'm cheating a little bit. That is what they call a shell cracker. Nice looking fish. Caught them on a uh, worm and a hook. That's about it. It's a real pretty fish.
Well, that's about it. Didn't get skunked, so I'm going to head on home and get me some grub. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's a uh, map coming up of exactly where I'm at. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great one.